Whoa. I had a bite. I got a bite. Got him. I got him on. I got one too. We're doubled up. Well, folks, we have made it back out to Mays Point for the fall edition of carp fishing. And uh, the water level is actually extremely low. I don't know if they've actually started to drain it a couple weeks earlier than they normally do or what. When I was here last year around this time catching all those bass, I think it was late October, and we're only at October 19th right now, so the water level is probably about six to eight inches lower than it normally is this time of the year, so I don't know if it's rushing out or they just haven't had as much rain. But... Uh, we're trying. We're going to be trying. We've got some fluorocarbon leaders set up on the carp poles. I'm going to be trying for bass still right off the bat, but I actually brought uh, two extra carp poles today, so we're going to have a total of three carp poles set up potentially. Uh, but I got to start with the wacky rig. However, I will say because of how shallow it is right here, uh, there might be a whopper plopper bite where there usually isn't. So we're definitely going to try that too. Boy, not good. I'm not uh, not seeing any fish. Yes, absolutely. So this this time of the year, the bass are bulking up. And they should be chasing bait fish. So that's why I'm mostly going to use the crankbait. I'm happy I got this pole fixed. The reel. This is that reel right here where we took the side pan. Uh, the side panel fell off. Yeah, that was worth it. Whoa, that was. That line's getting played with. Yeah. Well, something just hit it too, I can see it. Piece of debris that could have been it. I think that was it. Piece of crap. Oh, he's got it. Dad, that moved. Yeah, I see it. Wow. All right. Didn't move that much. Didn't go anywhere. Not yet. We could be munching. I think you got the dough mixture perfect. Oh, it is perfect. It's really, it's drier, but it's like, it's not, it's not gooey. It's not, yeah, it's not coming off the hook. Yeah. Uh, Dad, you've got two ounce sinkers, right? Yeah, why you want them? Uh, yeah, you'd have to move your pole to make that happen, huh? Whoa! What? Jump right, the huge jump right there. They're jumping right over your line. Oh. Great. All right, we're gonna draw them in with some dough. Here, you wanna look right? Yeah, yeah, you, you monitor that. Oh, that's crazy action. Yeah. Wait till you see this thing. Look at it. See it? Yeah. yeah. No more bites for you? It's weird though, because there isn't that much current. Right. Like if they were draining it, shouldn't there be more current? I don't know. They're not draining, it's not going below that leaf. Which leaf you see? I watch the leaf down there. On the uh, down in cement. Whoa! There it goes. There it goes, Greg. Uh, I don't know. It's a lot of I gotta wait. <laughs> 
took the gold ball right off. No, he's running in. He's running like crazy. Good. Yeah, oh, there he is. Yeah, I got a little one, right? Little guy. Little guy. Can't you get the net? No, I think you could bring him right up. I'm not going to bring him oh, up. Yeah. He's not little. No. Yes. Here, I, I can use it if you want to hold the pole. Cause I can get this one up from here. You think so? Yeah. If you hold the pole. I got it. <sighs> yeah, their mouths are big. He's a little, he is not huge. <sighs> but good fish. Nice fish. Good about, start. About time. Well, Let's get him over okay. to the grass. All right. I told you they're in the shallows. Yeah. All right, buddy. Let's see the damage. All right, guys. He's not too huge, but that is a start. That's the first carp of the fall. Yeah. So that's, uh, let me get a little bit better of a view. That's a better view. There we go. It's the angle of the sun right now. It's hard to get anything to work, but decent little fish. We're going to get him back in. I can't believe I lost the gold Let's get him into the deeper water so he doesn't hit the cement. Hey. There he goes. Very good. All right. Well, that was exciting. Yeah, it was. Well, had it. I knew he wasn't that big. That ball would have really popped. He's right over near my bait. They're all here. They're small, Greg. They're carp. And that's for my mine's right there. You know what I think they're eating the uh formula. Yep. Can you get that other pole in? Actually, you can leave that other one out. Yeah. Oh, no. Yep, sure did. They're small. They're small. What's up with that? Oh, jeez. We know the dough balls will catch the big ones because your big fish was on a dough ball. Yeah. Uh -oh. What? A good hit. You had a hit? Yeah, real good one. Couple more. Yeah, it's going. Got it. Got him, Greg. Got the Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, it's a good one. All right. He's a fighter. He's a fighter. Okay, get that net out. We're going to get him right in. Okay. Big sow. A big sow. Man, Is he crossing my line? Uh, Is he yeah. going under it? No, he He's going under it. Mine's way out there. He's going under it. He's right here. I just got to get him up. It's deep right here. Whoa, man. He's got to be good size. He pulls like crazy. Where is he going? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good size carp. Come back here, you. 
You don't like that net. That's the biggest carp I've caught in a long time. I know. Jeez. Uh, come on, come on. Got him. Got him. Uh, wow. That's a good one. Yeah. Greg, that's the biggest carp I've caught in, in years. years. Okay. What are you grabbing by the... Uh... Get one hand, finger in the mouth if you can. And then I can't, I'm not going to be able to pick them up. There's no way. Hang Greg, on, how do you got heavy. this? You well, too... you're going to have to figure it out. <laughs> I can't. You're going to have to take a... One by the tail and one under his belly. Try that too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, let me get the... Uh... Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that is a, a beautiful big carp, Dad. He's a good size. That's the one we've been waiting for all day. Yeah. All right, he's going back in. Oh, measure him? Should we measure him? We got the yeah. measuring tape. Yeah. Oh. Just I'll put it next to it. Yeah. 28 and a half. half. Wow. Okay, he's going in. That's a big boy. He's going in. Finally. Yeah. And he swam away. Good. All Good. set. What, did you catch that on both of them on dough balls? Yes. I don't have corn on at all. I'm just using the dough. Hey, at least we got some excitement today. Yeah. How many times have we come here and gotten nothing? Well, they should be in here. What? Same one? No, the, the white one. Yeah. It just got hit again. Yeah. There's something really little playing with it. There's a lot of little carp. Those are the ones that are jumping. Whoa. Whoa. Those are the ones that clean that dough ball right off the I know. All the, you know what? These are the tiny little hooks. Yeah. I wonder if it's not getting hooked on them. These are small hooks. That idea I had might not be working. Yeah. Whoa, 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 got him, got him, got him. Nope. Off? Off. It's the little hooks? Yeah. Dang it. Hey. Is that you? No. I'm, I'm way over here. I don't know what pole. That was the white one. Yeah. All right, so the fluorocarbon might be working. I just don't think the hooks are big enough. Yeah. You know what's good about these poles like this? We're seeing the tiny bites. Yeah. We can't see them with our big poles. No. No, you gotta watch the line. Wow. I saw that. I'm getting. Those bites. I don't know what they're doing. Bro. Oh. They're, they're, tiny, they're, tiny. they're tiny. Oh, they're all gone. Yeah. The water's gotten higher. By about a half an Whoa, whoa. <clears throat> oh, oh, gosh. Man, they're little. You got baby. I gotta change those hooks out. Baby. Well, I gotta change the hooks out. Well, what do you think? You're pulling right out of their mouth? No, the hooks are too tiny. All right, they're not sharp enough and they're too small. Failed plan. You open the one, right? Yes. Is my bell going? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, God, you got a fish. Got him this time. What are they, little mills? That's not that small. Yeah, but 
Well, well, could you get the net ready? Yeah, that's there. Yeah, that's not small. No, it's not. It's bigger. That's bigger. Yeah, a little bigger. They're not fighting at all. Okay. That's a good fish. Yeah, it's a nice size. All right. All right. So you got two. All right. Boy, that's a pretty one. Yeah, I'll see. Wow. Very nice. That's very pretty. Hang on, buddy. Hang on. We'll get them all out of you. All right. So this is the size that we're catching right now. Just a little bit bigger than that last one. Still a decent fish. We're having a, we're having a good day out here. <sighs> Thinking about putting corn on one hook. Yeah, we'll do that. All right. Gonna try to do easier this time. Which one? I got it. Nope. What? I don't know what they are, Greg. Dang, okay, dough ball. One after the dough ball. All right, taking the corn off. I'm not getting up. Whoa! Dad! Hustle! Hustle back! <laughs> oh my gosh! It's the big one! It's not huge, but that's a big, that's a good fish. Yeah. You got it? Yep. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, here it comes. All right. Oh, okay. All right. That's a better one. All right. That was a big one. Oh. All on the same pole, every one of them. Yes, haven't gotten a single one on the white pole today. That's crazy. All right. Jeez, that's a better sized fish. Yeah. Let me get him on, he might be unhooked. All right, we're gonna get a measurement on this guy. He's not huge, huge, but uh, that's a sizable fish. Okay. Well, that's a 26. Yeah, 26. 26 inch. That's not bad. All right, guys, biggest fish of the day. This guy fought like a son of a gun. I thought, I honestly thought he was even bigger than what he ended up being. This, this is a hard fighting fish. We're going to get him back in the water. All right, so in case you guys are wondering what we're using today, we're using this homemade dough mixture. It is two parts cornmeal, one part flour, and there's also a package of strawberry jello in here. So the strawberry jello adds to the flavor and the smell, and uh, it also helps congeal it a little bit better. It helps hold it together. We have tried it without the jello, 
and it just doesn't seem to hold together as well so it, it does make a difference so you're going to cook this in just a pan with water either a pan or a skillet and you're going to bring it to a boil and then you're going to cook it until there's basically no water left you don't want to overcook it you don't want to undercook it it's it's definitely a process but you want it to get squishy like that you don't want it to be coming off on your fingertips too much really this is a good consistency today it's been holding on pretty well did you, you did. oh i did yeah it's only that pull it's that pull. great keep an eye on it well there you go <clears throat> yep <clears throat> what is with that pull That's big. That? It's big. Really? Yeah. What is it with that pole? That's big. Yep. Yeah. He got he ran into a snag. You're kidding? He snagged himself. I gotta figure out how to get him off. Hang on. Uh -oh. Hang on. He got into a snag. I'm big fish it. of the day and he ran into a snag. I just let it loose. He's got to be around that thing. No, he's not out there. Is that a horse sedan or whatever? I think he came off and it got wedged. Yeah. I couldn't control that fish. It was definitely a giant. Oh, <laughs> I, uh, I had a direct hit on a leaf. See? Yep. <laughs> so the carp are not sunning themselves today. No, I did see a couple jump. You know what's different, Dad? What's that? A lot more, there is more current. Yeah, there is. They're not just sitting up here. Yeah. We might not see a single bite the whole day. You had a bite? Okay, good. Another bite. Good. Two bites. I mean, that's cornmeal spot. Right there. Yeah, I saw that one. Right there. So it was small though. That's right out near your bait though. Yeah. I don't know if that was a carp. I don't, you're right. I, it looked it, green, right? Yeah. I think it was a bear. You know what? Now that the sun is staying out, they may start going shallow. Yeah. They might, they might. There, I don't know. You saw another one over there? Yeah, see? See the So they're coming in for the food maybe. It Whoa. sucked. That was, a big, that was a big hit. Oh, it's it's gone. It's slack. No. No. I could have had it if I was there. What was wrong with your pole where it wasn't reeling? I have no idea. Cleaned off. Cleaned right off. Okay. Well, they're hitting now. Well, we'll see. Yeah, it's probably gonna be a mistake, but I'm gonna try something.
Whoa! I had a boy. I got a boy. Got him! I got him on. I got one too. Oh, mine's off. No, mine's not off. We're doubled up. No, we're not. Mine. I'm gonna let mine stay out there. Oh, mine's huge. Why am I? I'm gonna get the net and I'm gonna get. I'm gonna try. Whoa! Look at mine. It's huge. Hang on, I gotta get the net. Yeah, I'm gonna try. Just as long as we don't get a third. Oh my gosh, mine's giant. I'm gonna try. You want me to do it? Yeah, no. Maybe I can do it. Give me that net. No, I got. Whoa. Whoa, he's going over the other one. <sighs> I gotta get more line in. That's my issue right now. I'm gonna get them both up here if I can't hang on. I might. Oh my god, he's huge. We're good. Oh, holy cow. Oh my gosh. Wow. All right, guys. That's big carp of the year. We got a big one. That was a good fish. Oh, that camera died. It did? No, maybe it didn't. Okay. I'm not sure. But uh, if it did... You got it on your chest camera. Yeah. That is a big fish, guys. That's a good carp. All right, let's get Dad's fish. All right, buddy. Ugh. Oh, I didn't have the time. I would have liked to have gotten a measurement on that other fish. Yeah, I was big. Two fish at once. Hey, hey at least we got it on this camera. Yeah. Whoa. Here, take my. Did that break? That broke. It These broke. hooks are garbage. Hey. <sighs> Mouth. Come on. Okay. Oh, it's a healthy little one. Yeah. Okay. Do you want a quick picture or not? No, I'll All right. All right, buddy. Okay. Okay, I gotta get a new hook. We both need a new hook. Have we ever had that actually happen with a double fish? Oh, uh, no. Only the smallmouth at Churchville. Was that that one? Yeah, they're biting now, Craig. Oh. I think he's on there. Oh. Let's see if he's on there. No? Yep. Got him? Wow, we're nailing the fish. Nailing. Wow. <laughs> Finally, a fish on this pole. I get the thing. That's another good one. Yeah. Not as big as the first that I got, but that's a good fish. Wow. You gonna try it? Yeah. Oh, got him. Whoa, it's a good fish. That's a good fish. Holy cow. The big ones have moved in. <laughs> My God. That's good. Okay. All right. Put them right here? Oh uh, yeah, I guess so. 
Oh man, uh, where's the pliers? Oh, they're over, over here. The pliers and then the, the yellow gloves. I know, there's hooks, there's hooks and pulls everywhere. That's three, guys, three, three fish in five minutes. Five minutes, here. Uh, and then the, uh, my gloves, my here. sticky, disgusting gloves are right behind me. Where'd they go? Right here. Uh. <sighs> my goodness. Crazy. Finally got a fish on the white pole. We're gonna get that way up there. Hold on, hold on. Hey, whoa, whoa, hey, whoa. hey. Did that break? No, it's got, he got it. Oh man. What happened? It's fine, I got it. So yeah. this one's nowhere near the size of the other one, but yeah. still a good fish. Wow, nice fish. All right, guys. This is, this is what it's all about right here. This is what May's Point fishing can be like when we're finally, finally experiencing it. Uh, that was a lot of action in the past five minutes. We're gonna get this guy back in. All right. Look at him go. Oh. So maybe the chumming, now they're in here. Yes. Oh, my hands are gross. That's better. Yeah. I want to get it shallow. Right. That's where that big one hit. That's it. Yep. Got it, got it, got it. Uh. Oh. He had one pull. Man, that bent pretty good. That was a carp. That was a hawk. Next to his ass, right over there. Yeah. Whoa! What? What? Mine. Whoa. Right there. Got him. Got <sighs> Uh, I think a decent fish. What do you got? Okay. Bring them over. Just a small one? Mm, I think a decent. No, oh, that's good. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, bring them Bring him in. He's in, he's in, he's right here. Oh, there he is. Got him? Nope. Yeah, I gotta get on the ground. Here, got him. Got him. Okay. Wow, he's heavy. I think that's a bigger one. Yeah, he's heavy. So that's bigger than the second one, maybe in between the two. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Well, that's definitely bigger than the second yeah. one. All right, let's bring him over here. Woo! That's a big sow. Yeah, I gotta measure that one. That might be as big as the first or close, not as fat. Man. I'm gonna measure this one. I gotta figure out where all the hook are all the hooks out? Did he get snagged? Buddy, did you get snagged? Oh no, he just uh he threw all the hooks off. He threw all the hooks off? I think so. Yeah, they're they're both out. Yeah, he's good. We just, just got him in. Wow. All right, let's get this guy up. Ugh, slimy. Okay, I gotta measure him, I gotta measure him. Oh, you gotta measure him, that's right. Right here. He just hit 28. Okay. Just hit 28, that's a good fish. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Hey. Hey, you cut that out. All right. Oh, okay. ruin, ruin the, wow. the. That's a good size fish. That's a good size fish. Yeah. Okay. All right. This is a good fish. We finally got a little bit extra time with this guy. Beautiful fish. I love the fin. Beautiful, healthy looking fin. We're going to get him back in the water. All right. We're going to get the release here. Release. All right. 
Hey. Jeez. <laughs> that was a good one. I think it was heavier than your big the other two. The other one was way heavier. This one might have been the same length. Right. Oh, I am covered. How are you gonna get on slime? I'm not, I'm just gonna wear uh, yeah. Whew! That's seven carp from the last two times. Wow. Six six of them I caught. What did we get there? What did we get there? How many did we get today? Four today, you got one, I got three. We're not done yet. This is closer to how it used to be. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest, average fish size today is bigger than normal. Yeah. Big. Oh, I'm so happy I invested in those bells. Right. You never miss a bite. Oh, we got the inclement weather coming in. I think we're coming to the end of our uh, fishing experience here, unfortunately. We've had a pretty great day. We've had these bursts of uh, bites from the carp. Last time it was kind of constant, but we weren't landing a ton of them. We ended up, I think, with the three last time. We got the four this time. And uh, honestly, a very worthwhile day. They had that one crazy 10 minute time period where I think if we had, you know, more poles in the water, we would have had more carp. We just had all the poles out because we had caught, caught a fish on each one of them. That's probably the first time we've done that in a couple of years. Caught a, uh, a carp on all three poles that we've set up over a given day. So that was pretty impressive. And uh, the setup's working great. I highly recommend this rod holder. You can get this at Bass Pro Shop. Uh, I think it's it's pretty inexpensive. It's around $20 or so. And the bells have been the best addition over the years. I found those. Of all things, I discovered the alert bells while playing a video game. I had no idea that they existed. I was playing Fishing Planet, I think. And I saw the alert bells. And I was like, oh, I wonder if those are a real thing. And sure enough, it's the easiest thing to get. I just had no idea. So that has been a huge upgrade for our carp setup. And uh, everything's been working all right. We're still loving the old Zebcos. Me and me and Dad swear by the old Zebcos. I don't know so much about the uh, the newer 888s, though. I have caught uh, a decent number of carp on my my newer 888 as well. Uh, I don't have that one with me here today, but the original 808 Magnum that was a solid solid reel. And I've been loving this thing too. This is one of the Okuma Samar. Uh, larger bait feeding reels. This is the size, I think it's like the CBF 65. It's the size 65 and it's got that the little bait clicker on the bottom, which is nice because then it feeds the line out really smoothly. And that's just the uh, ugly stick catfish. I've got just about every type of ugly stick pole that they make. There's a few, a few I'm missing. They make an ultralight pole I don't have. Um, and I think they also have a couple like inshore uh, ocean setups I don't have, but yeah, ugly stick catfish, really strong pole. This thing will take quite a beating. And then this is a Power Pro Plus setup. This was before, I believe, before um, Bass Pro Shop bought this line. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. So this was offshore angler. They used to put the, out these Power Plus Trophy Classics. And uh, now they have them as a Bass Pro Shop model. So they still make them. And uh, it's it's done the job for us. Me and, me and Dad both have the same one. We've had them at least 10 years. Uh, and we've never really worried about it breaking on us. It's just so, so durable. Uh, six and a half foot pull. It seems to be fairly decent. The, the extra flex in the ugly stick catfish, catfish is nice, but honestly, I think we've had a better hookup ratio on uh, on the thicker pole. I think we've had a better hookup ratio. I think it sticks it better. I, I don't know if that's 100% the case, but that's the one that we've used more over the years, and we haven't really lost too many fish. But uh, at any rate, I want to thank you all for joining us on the adventure these past two weeks. It's been pretty crazy here. We've actually been getting some awesome carp fishing in 
towards the end of the year. I don't know if we'll end up coming out another time, but uh, at least we had a pretty good final hurrah for the carp fishing here. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to get some more fishing done during the winter throughout the cold, colder months. I'm going to try and come out and do a little bit of trout fishing. I might even do a winter carp fishing experience because I know they're still out there. Carp really don't care all that much about the temperature. As long as the water is moving, there isn't too much ice, there's going to be carp out there. So I, I, may, I may try that. But uh, at any rate, thank you all again for joining us. I really appreciate it, and I hope you all take care.